tonight, or today, I guess, I would like to extend an invitation to you. I don't know who's going to do it. Do I do it? Yes, Come I'm going to do it. Come on. I want to know how many of you out there want to know the God that I'm talking about. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that created this world. The God that is more in love with you than you can ever possibly understand because you're a human being with a limited understanding. This God is so in love with you that if he was a human, he just wouldn't even be able to see straight. He's just, he's so gaga for you. He's, he's just, he's head over heels in love with you. And um, I really believe that today could be a brand new beginning for a lot of you. I believe there's a lot of things, just like um, Fred, the music minister, was saying while we worship, that there's a lot of you that are going through a lot right now. And you could probably use the touch from heaven in your life. And you could use something supernatural that would overwhelm you and overflood you. That would be more than you could understand. Like, I, like God, I have a lot of doubt. I'm a very intellectual person. I need facts. But right now, I'm in a place to where I'm willing to take a step dangerous. Because I need you to prove yourself to me. I'm telling you, everybody in this room today, that day is today. God is telling you, he'll prove himself to you. He's God, he doesn't have to. But he wants to prove himself to you. Today. If I can have all of you bowing your heads, please. Everybody bowing your heads. Every eye closed. Nobody looking around the room. Give them lights, please. Thank you. I'm going to pray for all of you today. Father God, I thank you for this word. Father, I thank you that you are so on time. That you have been preparing people in this room for... I would say more than just weeks and months, probably even years. God, I believe there's a lot of people in this room that were called terrible names by the people they trusted the most, that they loved and looked up to the most. God, and you, they blew your trust. These parents, these grandparents, these caretakers, these teachers, these people in authority, God, they, they blew it. They hurt someone in this room. They wronged someone in this room, and someone in this room has been hanging on to these words they said. And God, they, they don't feel like they're fearfully and wonderfully made. They don't feel like they're awesome, and they're powerful, and they're made in your image, and that you have plans for them to prosper them, and not to harm them, to give them a hope and a future. They don't feel that way, God, but they want to feel that way. God, they want to know who you are. They want to give this a shot. Not because they're joining a club. It's not about becoming a Christian and joining a club. It's about getting to know you, God, intimately. It's about going beyond religion and having a relationship, a personal relationship with you. God, I believe that there are people in this room right now. And with everybody's head bowed and everybody's eye closed, I don't want no one looking around this room right now. If that's you, if you're here today, and you're saying, I want to know God. I want to know that he came to this earth as Jesus Christ. That's who Jesus is. He's not just some religious symbol on a cross somewhere. He was a living, breathing man. We're like, God, if you love me so much, come to me. He came to you. And he's saying, here I am. And his spirit is in the room today. And if that's you, you want to get to know him. On the count of three, I want you to raise your hand. Nobody looking anywhere. Everybody with your eyes closed and your head down. This is not a moment for anything but personal right now. I want you to lift your hand if you want to take a risk today. On the count of three. One, two, three. Raise your hand around this room. I see you. I see you. I see all of you. Okay, you can put your hands down. I believe that there's other people who are in this day in this room and you're just like I just I I want this but I don't know how to believe God can you teach me how to believe and if I can believe it if I can get a taste of what you're like and you can start something then maybe I'll be able to make a decision to give you my life if you maybe aren't willing to make the full commitment but you want to see something powerful and you want God to start working on you because the Bible says he plants seeds and there were so many church services I had to go through where God was planting seed after seed after seed after seed until he ripe. He got a huge harvest. If you want a seed of supernatural power implanted in you today, still with no one looking around, raise your hand. One, two, three. Raise your hand around this place. I see you. Everybody put your hands down. And you can all put your heads up and you guys can all look around. 
You made a very brave decision today. God saw what you did, and that's the only reason we, we don't want to embarrass anybody. We want an acknowledgement of faith saying, God, I'm lifting my hand because I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. It's just a simple act. God says if you are obedient in little things, I'll make you ruler over great big things. He needs a small little thing. You do what you can, and he'll take over and do what you can't. It's just that little small thing because it means you're serious. And that's why what happened today happened.